stock futures aimed for new records on Monday, September 18, ahead of a decision on interest rates from the Federal Reserve this week and a major deal in the defense space. Dow Jones Industrial Average futures were up 0.26%, SP500 futures added 0.2%, and NASDAQ futures increased 0.12%. The Dow and SP500 closed at record highs on Friday, September 15, brushing aside geopolitical worries to end a week filled with new all-time levels. A rebound in Apple Inc. AAPL shares led the tech sector higher on Friday, while the rest of markets quickly overcame a terrorist incident in London and another missile launch from North Korea. The Federal Open Market Committee, the decision-making arm of the Fed, will convene on Tuesday, September 19, for a two-day meeting culminating in an announcement on Wednesday, September 20. Investors are pretty confident in what's to come. Markets have given a zero chance of a change to U.S. interest rates, but near certainty to the Fed beginning to unwind its balance sheet. The chances the Fed holds rates unchanged at its September meeting sit at more than 98 percent, according to the CME Group. Fed funds futures are currently pricing in a nearly 51 percent chance of a 25 basis point increase at the December meeting, putting the federal funds rate at 1.25 percent to 1.5 percent. The Fed has been very transparent to market participants like us about their forward guidance and our viewpoint is that, if they were to do something with rates it would probably be in December as opposed to now, Eric Friedman, chief investment officer at U.S. Bank, told The Street, aligning with what the majority of economists expect. I think the big thing next week will be more about the balance sheet than it will be about rates. The Fed had previously said it would begin unwinding its $4.5 trillion balance sheet relatively soon should the economy continue to grow at the pace expected, a signal many took to mean September. Reducing the balance sheet tightens market conditions in much the same way as an interest rate hike. If you would like to receive the free 5 Things You Must Know newsletter, please register here. President Donald Trump will take the stage at the UN General Assembly on Tuesday morning to discuss how to deal with an increasingly aggressive North Korea. The rogue nation has set off a number of missile tests in recent weeks, including two that flew over Japan. National Security Advisor H.R. McMaster said on Friday, this is not an issue between the United States and North Korea. This is an issue between the world and North Korea. Tuesday marks the first time Trump has addressed the UN Northrop Grumman Corporation knock agreed to buy Orbital ATK Inc. OA a merger that brings together two major US defense contractors for about $7.8 billion in cash. The deal also includes the assumption of $1.4 billion in net debt. Orbital ATK shareholders will receive al cash consideration of $134.50 a share. The companies expect the transaction to close in the first half of 2018. Northrop Grumman to purchase missile maker Orbital for $7.8 billion Teva Pharmaceutical Industries Limited Teva agreed to sell its women's health business in Monday, an arm that includes contraception and fertility products, for $1.38 billion. Tiva will sell its women's health portfolio to QVC Capital for $703 million and its emergency contraception products to Foundation Consumer Healthcare for $675 million. The drug company will use the funds raised to pay down its debt. U.S. oil prices fell below $50 a barrel again on Monday amid reports that Royal Dutch Shell RDS.A is restarting a key Houston refinery that was shuttered by Hurricane Harvey three weeks ago. Refineries in the region are slowly beginning to come back online, meaning that mushrooming crude stockpiles can begin to be sorted through. Houston-based energy services firm Baker Hughes reported on Friday that U.S. oil and gas producers took eight rigs offline during the past week, bringing the Houston oil field services provider's total count to 936, the lowest since June. They also indicated that the oil rig count decreased by seven week over week to 749, while the natural gas rig count fell by 1 to 186 and the U.S. offshore rig count rose marginally from the previous week. 
West Texas Intermediate crude was down 0.5% to $49.61 a barrel on Monday morning. U.S. oil prices slipped below $50 as Gulf refiners restart after Harvey updated from 740 a.m. Eastern Time, Monday, September 18. More of rats trending on Thief Street.